Welcome back to the channel for a brand new Surreya video. On this one, I'll be talking you through my Oliver Skip, Ulties and Tottenham card and collections in general, but mainly this one right here and how this card that I purchased 12 days ago helped me to get first place in All-Star Rare Plus. So those managers that have been playing Surreya for quite a while will know this is all about collection and XP points because as you can see, Oliver Skip is not in this five-man lineup over the weekend, but he still played a massive part in getting me first position, all because of this collection bonus right here. Now, first of all, guys, I am not a massive collection kind of person when it comes to playing to rare. As you can probably tell, my biggest collection is Man City with four cards. It's just a 2% bonus, but as you can tell by my recent purchases in my gallery, I've been focusing very heavily um, on certain players and certain cards to kind of gain those collection bonuses. which We'll come on to in just a moment in time. So my Tottenham collection was at 1% at 90 score. Before the skip, I had skip, son, and a shirt mint, jersey mint, Harry Kane at 70 score. So looking back now, I should have got a skip card a long time ago. So before this, guys, they were at 1%. So every time son and Kane played, you got the, obviously, the XP score but also just 1% for the collection bonus. But now, every time Son, Kane, or Skip do play, you'll get the 2% on top of the score, on top of the captain bonus as well, if you want to captain the players, which are 20%, and on the XP as well. So just for example, Harry Kane right here is 11.5% XP. 9.5% of that is kind of just building your XP um, for the level level bonuses. So if you play them in every game week or put them in your kind of training team lineups, you'll get XP that way, but also for the collection points as well. So again, last week or two weeks ago, that would have said 10.5%. And again, I'll show you why this is so crucial weekend just gone. So as you can tell there, Harry Kane scored 97.2 points, ties it by the 1.315, which is obviously the 10.5%. Um, on top of that is a captain bonus as well. So captain a player gets a 20% on top of that as well. So if I bring up the calculator um, very quickly, so 97.2, which is Harry Kane's score, and then times that by 1.305, which is a score he would have got before if I didn't buy this Oliver Skip. So his score would have been 126.85, that would have been. So basically, guys, one less point than he has right now. And why is that so key? It's because the guy behind me finished 0.52 points um, behind me. Obviously, the higher you finish, the better reward in terms of ETH value or pound value. And also, in hindsight, the better card reward as well. As you can see, the guy behind me um, won 0.144 Ethereum, which is roughly £419 as of recording. And now on about 0.2 Ethereum, which is over about £100 more. Again, don't get me wrong, the guy that finished in second position has got amazing reward in, in Verbruggen and great Ethereum price as well. But look at the difference, guys, between the values in Rodri and Verbruggen and also the E5. It's about 700 £800 pounds difference there. Again, my Oliver Skip card, I think I did it in a trade with Sir Hiss. Cost for us about £10. I did it in a trade with Jonathan Perez. And just under four pounds for Oliver Skip, but that's that's kind of all you pay for from this weekend. So again, probably the best coming from me as not a huge collector when it comes to Surreya, but again, collection bonuses could be key. There's a decisive moment at the top of the leaderboard, especially or even anywhere on the leaderboard. No, for different from a tier two, from a tier one, or a tier five to a tier four, it could be a massive difference. And um, so, what I advise you do, guys? Again, what I've been doing the last two weeks on my on my streams is picking up players um, in those collection teams. So, for example, as you can probably tell here, New England, an all-season card, obviously, Charles Gill, for example. What I've done, guys, is pick players that I'm going to have for quite a while. So, Harry Kane, um, Charles Hill, for example. My Florian Wirtz card was on a very poor XP, and as you, again, as you can see, I've been buying Leverkusen cards. Man City, new, new season cards. So again, Scott Carson, Sergio Gomez will go for the collection for my Rodri card. I think Alvarez as well that I do have in this collection. So my plan is to get this up to 3% um, if I can do as well. And then most recently is a Manchester United collection as well. So I've got Bruno Fernandes, but it's great looking card in Gonacho, a rookie card um, and a Tom Heaton um, Man United card as well. 
Tom Heaton right there. So my plan for this one is that's for 2%. Now, obviously, going back a season, there's no auctions. Again, if you're brand new to Surrey, you get 10 points for purchasing a card in from the secondary market, and you get extra 10 points after 90 days. Now, if you're buying a card straight from auction, in your first owner, just for example, this one right here, Scott Carson, if I have to show this Man City collection, you get 30 points for being the first owner, um, and obviously a new card, Again, the 10 points after the 90 days. So basically, guys, if the cards you buy from auction or win um, in a prize pool, you get 40 points after 90 days. And obviously, 20 points if it's a card you brought from the secondary market as well. So just to summarize, guys, in a nutshell, if I was sitting in your shoes right now and you've never looked at collections on so rare, what I would do is bring up my club, your own gallery, look at maybe four or five players that you use on a regular basis, maybe captain quite a lot, what you were going to keep for the next 12, 24 months, for example, and have a look at their collections. Are you very close to the 1% XP, the 2% XP? You know, they're quite easy to get to, especially in the new season cards and the auctions. Obviously, the older you get on the cards, the more difficult it gets as well. 3% is quite difficult in all season cards, but definitely 2% is achievable, especially limited and rares, more focus there. Super rares, not too bad. There's not many players or managers with those super rare collections. But again, rares limited, it's absolutely vital to have a quick check at your cards. Something that I didn't do, as you can probably tell, I've been playing Surrey now for over three years. It's never really come to my mind until the last two weeks, and it's certainly paid off for me. Just to finish up, guys, if you are sitting there laughing because you have got collection cards already, fair play to you. Something that I should have done a long time ago now on Surrey. Something that I'm going to be focusing on a lot more moving forward as well as you can probably tell by my recent purchases. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Any comments, leave them below on this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.